You know what? I liked it and I didn't like it. <laughs> it sounds so <laughs> stupid. It was very Oh no yo 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 I remember. I know exactly what you mean though, yeah, bro. You go, yeah oh, man. Yeah, then it was patchy. It, bro, it was it was too much was left to speculate. Yeah, shoes, yeah. But oh, but you've also got to think, this isn't me, this is Netflix putting twos on their on their platform. <laughs> <laughs> this is Netflix's phone. <laughs> yes, okay. Welcome to episode four of the Six Second Critics, the podcast. Uh, I am the host, Kane Allen. I'm also with my co-host, John Joseph the Third, but he also likes to call himself John Joe. John Joe? <laughs> bro, bro, I just double check him, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, just my name. It's yeah, cool. no, no, just in case you, you know, you, you might be called going by the name Johnny these days. Who knows? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. Um, we are the film and TV review podcast. So, first of all, I'm going to give you the virtual song. Okay. Okay. Have you heard anything about it or seen no. it? No. Um, so, I came across it on my own, like, randomly. I seen it on uh, Netflix and I was like, it looks gritty, it looks interesting. Um, and it's quite similar to The Accountant, you know, with Ben Affleck. Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So have you seen that? I have seen that. That's a very good yeah. film. I think that's probably one of like, my favourite Ben Affleck like, films. <laughs> that could be my favourite Ben Affleck film, you know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, you're a madman, you know. I think it's a great film. You're a mad... <laughs> you know, it's not a bad film, but <laughs> it's... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, back to the virtual song. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know what? I really enjoyed it. I did really enjoy it. Um, it, at first, the way it is, like, the, how it is, like, I don't want to give it away, but, like, it's, it's got a really, like, really interesting, like, it's not how it's narrated. So, I really liked that aspect at first. And then, that kind of lost its interest, kind of got a little bit boring. Okay. Um, but then, how it rounded. Was fit into yeah. what had happened. Yes, it was, you know. Um, I finished on a 7.1. Is it a, is it a recent film? Yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah, yeah, yeah. recent? Do you know like? Oh, uh, um, it's got to be the last few months. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. I think it's a Netflix original film. I think it is. It might not be, to be mm. fair. But it only recently was on Netflix. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll look for it. In... Bro, yeah. I'm curious to see what you think. Okay. Especially if you like The Accountant. If you think yeah. it's well, no, The Idol was your best Ben Affleck <laughs> film. But if you think it's a good, if you really like The Accountant, because it gave me that vibes, but then it, it went down its own path completely. Um, so yeah, I'm very, I'm curious to okay. see what you think of it. But okay. yeah. Well, we'll see you next week then. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll make sure to catch it, definitely. Yeah, 6.8. Mm. It was good. Okay. Uh, I then watched a film called Trauma. Okay. Have you heard of Trauma? Maybe. Okay, so it's like, the idea is it's like, um, it's like it's a horror um, kind of film, but it's like a psychological horror. Okay. Um, which I always like because you, you get that like thriller aspect to it. Yeah. Um, that was a good horror, you know. Trauma. I think I've seen it. I think the actress is in both as well, really, funny enough. I think that white might have been why it was suggested. Mm. Mm. Is that Netflix as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Trauma. What, what did you finish on that one? Uh, you know what? I'm, re- I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking, I can't believe I said that. Eight. Eight okay. on Eight the dot. Yeah. yeah. You don't like your horror films because you don't find them, you don't get very scared. Yeah. But the psychological thriller side, I think you'll really enjoy I like most side like that side of things anyway. So yeah, okay, man. okay, trauma. Yeah, man. Is, again, is that a new one? I don't think it is. You know, no. I don't think it is. It's hard to tell with Netflix sometimes, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Because with Netflix, because there's so many things on there, you could have missed it. Yeah, yeah. It could have been. Like, it'll yeah. only be on the top ten for however long. Yeah. Or, and then disappear. Yeah, I don't think it ever was in top ten from what I know. Oh, okay. But I watched it recently, and I feel like it. I like watching my horror films and stuff. Yeah. So I kind of think to myself. Mm, I feel like I sort of seen it earlier, but then just because it recently came on to Netflix doesn't mean that it's recently came up. Yeah, Netflix yeah, get they those get it like 18, so 17, quick. 19, exactly. Yeah. So, but yeah, trauma, man. Okay. Give that a go. Yeah, I'll give both of them a go. Yeah, I've, I've just not seen them, so I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, them. man, wicked. Um, I remember. Did I, did I tell you to watch I Came By? Yes, I did watch I Came By. Tell me how you felt. What do you think of it? You know, what? I liked it. I didn't like it. <laughs> it sounds so stupid. It it was the story was cool. Okay. I liked the story. Yeah. I didn't like how the timeline was set out. Ooh. It was it was very. Oh yo 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 yo! yo. I remember. I know exactly what you mean. Though, yeah. Bro. You go, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Then it was patchy. It, bro, it was it was too much was left to speculation. Yeah. yeah. Way too much. Like 
it's like, you know when you watch the film, it's like, oh, he got this. And you're like, you know, you see the leaves go from green to orange. It's like, yeah. oh, it's been a month. It's it tells orange. you, or it says on the bottom. Yeah. And you're like, okay, cool. I can yeah. understand how long it's been. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. so sketchy. Yeah. So sketchy, I remember. Um, and also, the, the older guy, the um, the main guy, suited the role. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but he suited the role. He would be the antagonist, I believe. Yes. Yeah, yes. Pro, yeah the antagonist, yeah. Um, and then I classed the other guys, the protagonist. protagonist yeah. Um, well, I hope we got those right, 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 you know. I'm sure we did. I think sure we did. Because yeah, I remember thinking pro is good, like, and that's how I, thought, I think I remembered. Okay. And then anti, well, I'm hope, I could be wrong. But let's hope I'm right. I won't put it that way. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, I think it's, I'm probably going to butcher his name now. Purcell Anton? Is it not Purcell? I'm not going to try and say that. I'm not trying to put a, a flick on there, no? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I, I think it was interesting to see him coming from, because I've seen him from YouTube. Yeah, of course. Doing like Mind the short on the wall. movies. Yeah, Mind on the wall. stuff like that. And to go from that to this. Doing like Shiro, um, yeah. Shiro's story. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, all I've seen him do, right? Just like, it's just like short films and YouTube stuff like that. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think it was cool seeing him in that kind of role. Yeah. And I think he did really well with it. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. I liked it. I liked, I liked to. Um, I enjoyed his performance. Mm. I enjoyed his performance. Um, I, I too, I like the story, but it's been done. Yeah. Um, yeah. Without saying what it is, it was just like, a, it just got a well known story, a well known plot, and just dropped it in like, a youth scenario. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like, what would you do if you were this young and this Yeah, happened? and... You, let, well, let's drop this story in London, London youth and yeah, see how they yeah. do it. So, it, yeah, the whole um, the gra- graffiti aspect, how did you feel about that? I like that part. Mm. I probably would have preferred... More. ...if it was just that. Yeah. Like, if it just was... Obviously, I don't want to ruin it, but if it just was them doing this... Around thing, or even before, mm. and, you know, seeing what happened in that aspect of things... But this kind of was okay, okay, and then uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? I remember. Uh, I remember. I was watching it with Alana, and um, I remember there's so many times in the plot where I was just like, "Yo, if this main character," I was like, "Like, I was like that that person didn't have to do that, and that person didn't have to go through that." Yeah, like, yeah, man. That was. Um, I get. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. I get you. What'd you finish on? I'm gonna say a six point eight. 6.8? Yeah. Because I think it was the acting I liked more than anything. Mm. And the um, police woman as well. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. What did you say you finished on? Uh, I finished on 5.9. Okay. Yeah. Okay, a bit, a bit of a difference. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I finished on the 5.9. Um, because what, what, did, what did I really enjoy about the film? I really enjoyed like um, some of the darker parts of it. Mm. And I did enjoy the performances uh, from the majority of the actors. It was just, I get, I feel like plot can really, well obviously a plot can really ruin things, but like, it's annoying when so much is right. Yeah, it's what keeps you invested as yeah. well. Yeah. And this was just very, one hit, like that hit, and yeah. then one that missed. And it yeah. was just kind of yeah. consistently that. And what I was gonna say about the graffiti thing is I felt like if that was more like played a bigger part in the narrative mm. i think it would have made it a little bit more unique which meant it would have meant that the plot could have had more room to wiggle yeah but because it's a it's a well-known plot i was like okay i was like okay what's going to be different okay it's not much different okay oh wait, this person's making well more sillier decisions than yeah. i've seen in previous similar plots so it just yeah it, it, that let it down for me surprising look it's really popular yeah i think it is a, again a number what on the 10 kind of like yeah. top 10 thing yeah but no for me it, there was a lot of misses for yeah, it. Yeah, there was a lot of misses. Yeah. Um, that's all I've got for films this week, man. Yeah? That is pretty much all I've got. Yeah, keeping it light and keeping yeah. it light. Um, should we leave it there for films? Yeah, can do that. Awesome. Yo, what's going on, people? You are halfway through the episode, and I hope you're enjoying it. And thank you for listening. I came here to speak to you today about feedback. That is super important to us. We are the People's Film and TV Podcast, and we really need to know what you're enjoying and to make sure that we are giving you what you want. And we can't do that unless you tell us. But again, thank you for listening. If you want to tell us what you think, you can get to us on the TikTok and the Instagram at the 60 Second Critics the Podcast, or if you can email us at 60 SC the Podcast at Outlook.com. Thank you very much. See you later. Okie dokie, man. Did you watch the Emmys? I did not. Okay. I don't think I've ever watched the Emmys. Really? Never. Ha, I've never Emmyed. Um, 
You know what? I can't say that I watched the beginning to end. I've seen bits and bobs, and most of the time, the really interesting stuff you can find online anyway. Yeah, like the biggest events that happened. You were like, oh, this is a highlight from Yeah, it. yeah. Exactly. I'm happy you've not watched them, though. Okay. Because I've got this little Emmy game I want to play. Okay. The so, Emmy games. The Emmy games! <laughs> Poor Jake. The Emmy games! <laughs> Where the games begin. Um, so, Outstanding Comedy Series. Now, I only know of three of these series. Okay. So, I'm only going to ask you from these three. So, the first question is quite easy. Okay. So, you've got Elementary. Okay. Heard of that? Yes. Uh, you've got Only Murderers in the Building. That's one on Disney. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen Selena Gomez. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. And Ted Lasso. Okay. Out of those three, which one do you think won? I'm going to say Ted Lasso. Did you Why? say comedy? Yeah. I'm going to say Ted Lasso, just because I know it had a massive hype. And Elementary is quite old now. Mm, so I'm, okay. I'm going to say Ted you Lasso. You know what? I might be wrong then. There is something called... It might be... Abbott Elementary? I don't know if that's any different. Abbott Elementary? Or... Yeah, it might be that. Mm -hmm. Going back to Ted Lasso. That's correct anyway! Like, yeah, 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 smashed it. <laughs> um, so you said it's got a big following. You heard of Ted I, I've heard uh, quite a lot about Ted Lasso. I've right. never seen it. But okay. I know... I want to get around to watching it because there's so much around it and so many mm. things that happen and stuff. Really? And I can't remember the guy's name, is it? I know that it's the guy from Weird Millers. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't I remember. But him, it, like, it was a massive thing for him to be in something that was least like serious but also com comedic yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've heard a lot about it, um, and I've seen it advertised in loads of places. Yeah. Um, it didn't surprise me. Out of all, out of all the like, when I looked at the category, I was like, okay, all the other nominations, I wasn't like I heard that much about. Yeah. yeah. Um, I heard of them, but I thought Ted Lasso sounds huge. Yeah. I want to say it's Apple TV. I'm not sure. I would have said Apple or HBO. Yeah, one of those two. One of those, one of those two. two. Okay, on to the next question. Yeah. Um, outstanding drama series. Okay. We're very familiar with a lot of these. There's only one on here that I've never heard of before. Okay. So you've got Bad Call Saul. Yes. We discussed every week so far. Euphoria. Huge. Yeah. Um, Ozark. Okay. You've seen Ozark? I've never seen Ozark, but I, I know you love Ozark. 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 Yeah. Uh, Severance. I suggested stuff to you. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that as well. Wicked. Squid Game. Everybody knows Squid Game. Um, Stranger Things. Succession. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of Succession? I'm sure that was another one you mentioned. I've, I've, told I've heard, again, I've heard of it, but I've never seen yeah. it. And Yellow Jacket, that's the one I've never heard of. That's um, a Paramount one. Is it? That's Paramount. Right, okay. Yeah, I know there's a lot on Paramount recently. Yeah, like Halo. Yeah. <laughs> won't get into it. Um, okay, so man. Outstanding drama series. What was the second one? Uh, you got Better Call Saul, yep. Euphoria, Ozark, Severance, Squid Game, Stranger Things, Succession, Yellow Jacket. I'm going to say, and I think this is wrong, because... Yeah, it's never when people do this. I think this is wrong, so when it is wrong, I'm not I, wrong. I know that I'm wrong. I'm right about being wrong. Euphoria. Wrong! Damn it. <laughs> what was it? Succession. Oh. <laughs> Well, it's kind of <laughs> underwhelming because it's nothing. I'm not. I'm not yeah, aware of it. Yeah. Um, but it won outstanding drama series. So Which is a big thing. Yeah, it? but yeah. over those programs as well. Yeah. Out yeah. of all those things I've seen, especially how like big Stranger Things has been recent, bro. Well. All of them have had a moment. Yeah. Like, let's see. Better Call Saul was huge at one point, and it, it's probably still it's huge probably still now because of the new season. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Euphoria's been massive yeah. every time it's dropped. Ozark had a moment. Severance, yeah, I think Severance is a little bit of a smaller crowd. It doesn't surprise me. I love Severance, yeah. and I think it's a great watch, but it doesn't surprise me as much. Squid Game, I was, I, was, I didn't even, I don't know, I, didn't, I never saw Squid Game as that serious. Not as like a serious program, but a serious show. I think because of how many people it got to, and mm. obviously how, like, different languages and stuff as well. And yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. loads of people liked it for that, and mm. put themselves in that position as well. Yeah, true, true, true. I guess it is... It's got a serious message behind it and yeah. it had some serious moments. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Squid Game. And that Stranger Things, massive yeah. again. I'm actually really surprised about it. Maybe we just need, maybe I need to watch it Bro. to understand. I, think I, I completely agree, man. I completely agree. Last category I've got Outstanding Animated Program. So you've got Arcane. Okay. I've never watched that. Oh, it's, it's really good. Really? Yeah. I think you'd, I think you'd really like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bob's Burgers. Okay. Um, Rick and Morty, huge. The Simpsons, 
and what if? Ooh. Bro, innit? That's some big swingers in that, right? Yeah, man. That was difficult. I'd, I'd assume it'd be Simpsons because of its long running facet of it. Okay. But it's probably not. Okay. Fishing for clues. <laughs> I ah. think it's this. Mmm. TikTok, bro. I don't think it's Arcane. Okay. It's not Rick and Morty because that's only just came out. Okay. It's not Simpsons. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, swear, I, I guarantee it. It's going to be annoying if it is. Is it Bob's Burgers? Bro, please guess. Is it Bob's Burgers? Is, is it Bob's Burgers? Is yeah. that your final answer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that your final answer? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah? No? That's, Bob's yeah, Burgers. That's, that's my answer. Yeah. That's my answer. Wrong. Oh, God, what was it? Arcane, bro. Should have went, you're good. Sure. You said it was good. It I thought, oh, he's good. It's really good. good. Yeah. It's so good, but I know it's a niche. Oh, is it? Like, it looked, the poster put me off, I think, when I first yeah, put it's, watching um, it. Yeah, What's it based on? Uh, Comics? And manga? Not, not Dungeons and Dragons, but one of those. Oh, like, really? Kind of. Like guild game of, kind of things. Really? Yeah. Right. Okay. So a lot of people only know it if they've seen or played the game. So you've seen it? I have seen it. Let's get your review, bro. What do you think of it? It is actually really good. Right. Um, character in there. I'll probably just say character's name. Okay. We've got Jinx. Cool. And I think a lot of people know Jinx. I should have went with it. I should have went with it. Arcade. This is what I mean, man. <laughs> God, you took yourself out of it, Yeah, bro. I did. Um, you've got Jinx in there, and I think that was like a big thing, especially on like TikTok mm. and like, you know, a lot of different things. Yeah. Just because of the character she was. Right. Um, and it was just a really good series. It had a lot of different points in it as well. Mm. It wasn't just one point. It was always changing, or it was always going to a different person. This is a weird question. Talk to me about length. How long is the series? How l- I know it's a bad question. <laughs> um, I think it's still in 10 episodes. Okay. Yeah. 20 minutes, half an hour, 45? 45, I think. 45? 45. For, for an animated series, yeah, that is pretty long that's episodes. Yeah, that's heavy. Um, there was a song that came out of it, I think it was by Imagine Dragons, okay. that a load of people like, loved. Mm. I think it was Imagine Dragons. I could be completely wrong. Yeah. But I know a lot of people liked that song. Okay. And obviously it hit quite well with a lot of people, which I think caused a lot of traction for it. Right. Mm. Okay. And if I was to rate that... Yeah, fine. I'll tell, I'll tell I would you. probably give that... 8.2. 8.2? .2. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. Hmm. I was surprised, man. I was surprised. Um, To see it be Rick and Morty and What If more than anything else would surprise me. I can see it, though, because the animation style as well. Really? Yeah. What about plot? An plot. episode by episode? Yeah. Plot better plot than Rick well. and Morty? Rick and Morty's got, it's got episodes every in it. Every time. Yeah, it's a longer mean. plot. Yeah, okay, yeah. It can be like, like it's not always episodic. Yeah, can whereas this there. is from start to finish. You yeah, just yeah. watch it continuously. Right, okay. And what makes it, in your opinion, would you say it's better than What If? You know what? Yeah. 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 Did just, you like What If, though? What If has its, like, episodes and right. like, hard-hitting, you know, ones, but has some weeks. of them miss and it's yeah. just kind of like, eh. Right, I hear um, you, I hear you. But, yeah, I would say Arcane is consistent. Yeah. yeah. Fair, well, okay, fair, mm. fair. Um, well, that's, that's the end of the Emmy games there. Okay. Well Aww. done. Oh, uh, <laughs> thirty-three point three percent recurring in succession. <laughs> um, going on to well, first of all, you got any series you want to mention this week? The only one I was going to mention to you, and I think I mentioned it to you in passing anyway. Yeah. Was this new one that's out called Devil in Ohio? Okay. Yeah. Oh, we know what that means, guys. Yeah, it means. You know a, what that means. It's a very low-rated one. Okay. And I'm going to tell you not to waste your time. But I also want you to watch it to put you through the time that I wasted. <laughs> this is making up for a loan. <laughs> no <Yeah>. time. Flashback. <laughs> you wasted my time. <laughs> right, okay. It just wasn't what I was expecting. Right. And it was annoying because um, the actress in it, one of the main actresses, is um, the woman from Bones, if you've ever seen Bones. No. No. I, can't, I think it's a 90s series, or like 2000 series. And okay. she was great in that. Right. And then this, it was just... Mm. Mm. But yeah, it's probably about a two... <gasps> Tell me about me out here watching twos. Yeah, twos. Yeah, bro. but oh, but you've also got to think. This isn't me. This is Netflix putting twos on their on their platform. <laughs> <laughs> this is Netflix's phone. Yes, okay, at Netflix. <laughs> um, okay, um, Devil in Ohio. Yeah. Okay. But other than that, there's not really many series I've started got a chance to get to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to leave it there. Cool. Excellent. Good. Thank you, guys. You have been listening or watching Sixteen Fix the podcast. Um, if you enjoyed this podcast and you know this isn't your first time, if you're coming back, please subscribe. That helps us so much um, with growing and becoming better for you. So this isn't for us, it's for you. That's the selling point. Thank you very much, guys. Goodbye.